Now, I know you've seen this graphic in particular, a median potential 60% chance between now and seven days from now, we could see a tropical depression form somewhere in this region. But the biggest change that's happened since 8 p.m. tonight, which is when we get the latest update in from the National Hurricane Center, this hatch area, this area of potential development has actually shifted more to the west. So anything that could be impacting Florida can now bring us slightly better rain chances, whether it develops or not. We're talking about this cluster of very disorganized thunderstorm activity that's over the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico tonight. This broad area of thunderstorm activity, that energy, it's not conducive in an area that's conducive to develop in the next two days. It will continue to move to the northwest, though, the west northwest. And as it does so, that is where development could be a little more likely, especially as we get it away from some of that Saharan dust out there. So I want to show you the European model. So this is the one we've been showing you for the last several evenings and right around the this point is when it was making that turn east of Florida. We'll check this out. This started earlier today. It does have that swath of moisture now moving more so over Florida, so over the Bahamas, over Florida, and into the eastern Gulf. Still not quite forming by Sunday going into Monday, but it's trying, and that's where it could potentially become a depression or a tropical storm. No matter what, that is more rainfall in the region. Not so much wind, but rain. The GFS has been buying into this trend all along, but has it a little bit more to the southwest, more so over Cuba as a week system and still does not really want to form it until we get closer to maybe Sunday and that still has it in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, bringing more rain into our neck of the woods. So this is what we've been kind of waiting for a little bit more alignment with the models, but there's still so much uncertainty because this is not actually formed yet. We do not have a closed low to grab onto and put some more accurate model runs into. So stay tuned. We're getting a better idea, but still a lot of uncertainty when it comes to just how much rain we could see this weekend. If it makes it to a tropical storm, the next net uh, name on the list will be Tropical Storm Debbie. So we'll let you know if and when that does happen.